Let me just make sure it's close to your heart. You guys talked about this a little bit before performing on stage and things like musicals and that kind of thing, which is a bit of a departure from a concert type setting. Talk to us about um, just kind of what the difference is and, and what that feels like being in that sort of yeah. Well, when you do a musical theater production, you have to do the exact same thing every single night. And it's not just for the safety of the actors, but it's for the continuity of the show and everybody wants to, you know, no matter whether you come to the first opening night performance or whether you come to the 300th performance, you want it to be the same awesome kick butt show. So um, sometimes every now and then you, you kind of feel like a robot and you're like, I, I just did the show and I was on autopilot the whole time. But uh, it's, it's wonderful. It, it's very uh, similar though to concerts because you have an audience and we're, we're performers. We, we like to perform no matter which way we can get it. And um, when we did Hair, Hair was a very liberating show to be a part of um, for many, many reasons, which we won't go into. But... Uh, <laughs> yes, I saw some of you there too, actually. That means you saw a lot of me. And I did too, like a lady. Uh, it was my job, what? Um, yes, we're talking about the, na the naked scene in Hair. Sorry, um, for those of you who are completely confused. Uh, but. With hair, there was no third wall, so we could kind of do what we do, concerts, we could go out to the audience and, and look people in the eyes and, and, and touch you, not in that way, but... I actually did when you back there. Yeah, I and mean, you get frisky with everyone. Um, so, uh, yeah, it was, it was a very um, closer experience with hair, but each show has its own thing, and Ace and I are actually going on the national tour of Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat starting um, in February, and I believe the closest we're going to get to Syracuse, sorry, is Rochester. Road trip. So just jump in your cars, come hang out, he'll be Joseph in a glorified diaper, I'm going to be the narrator, we're going to have a good time. You can bring your kids, everybody. Yes, that one you can bring your kids. We're collaborating on a whole other show, uh, Planet 360. Tell us about that. So we actually, um, we ran into some friends in Los Angeles and they, they said, what do you want to work on next? And I, I we're never going to stop working on music. There will always be new music. And that's why I love coming here with Diana today because no one's heard what you heard today. So that's literally been in a studio and then it's the first time we get to perform it, which I love to do because that's, that's what it's for. We write it for you so we can get it out. Um, but we, uh, talking to friends, they said, how about you guys do a show together? Because you want to hang out, you want to be together. And we're like, well, what's, what kind of show? what's the show? And uh, we kind of molded what Planet 360 is. We didn't want it to be a gossip type show. We wanted, to, we wanted it to be kind of what we see entertainment like from our viewpoint, because a lot of our friends are the ones doing the shows. So we don't want to introduce you to them as their character. We want to introduce you to them as the person that they really are. So our show goes around and we, we get to hang out with our friends. We're, we're doing shows and all around, whether it's theater or TV or movies. We and get to talk to them like this, you know, it's really yeah. laid back and, and intimate. People so, go to cool places and shoot from Las Vegas. What? I do a lot of stuff in Vegas. It, it's, been, it's been a lot of fun. So it's a late night show, so if you can't sleep on Friday nights, go to TVGN, look for Planet 360. Soon it's going to be nationally syndicated, so we're going to be everywhere. Yes. Yes. We'll be in your house. <laughs> no, but it's a lot of fun to do it together. And I mean, last time, the last show we shot, I was in Vegas on a guy's shoulders about 12 feet high on a tightrope. And I, would, I felt like a girl on the back of a motorcycle. I was terrified. <laughs> I had no control. Now you know how I felt. <laughs> it was a regular day at the office. It was a day at the office. I want to get to some questions from our audience for you guys, because I know they'll be looking forward to it. This one comes from Ron Kane, who is um, visiting from Houston, Texas. This is for you, Diana. And Ron asks, what is your favorite song that you performed on Idol, and why? I really loved, okay, I have two, okay. I'm a Gemini, so I have to have two. Um, one would be uh, Donna Summer, Barbra Streisand. Um, I sang No More Tears uh, for Donna Summer, who I have looked up to and of course, so many years of my life, and she was so amazing. Um, so seeing that for her was, was wonderful. And uh, the other one would be, um, oh, Tell me 
yeah, turn the beat around. I had to, I had to sing the song, think of the name, uh, by, by Gloria Stefan, um, because I actually got to perform with um, the Miami Sound Machine. They played live only on my song, which was really cool. And uh, even though I got made fun of for my dress, I still loved that performance. Thanks, Simon. <clears throat> And our last question, I actually love this question. I'm very excited to hear your answer. It comes from Karen from Syracuse, and she asks both of you, my daughter is getting married September 7th. Do you have any advice for her and her future husband? Yes. Get a wedding planner. Yes. What? If you can, get a wedding planner. That saved our lives. Don't um, let your parents plan anything, because they'll hold it over you. Just saying. <laughs> Just we, have fun. Uh, have it, laugh. Yeah, the day can get really crazy, but um, enjoy it. And granted, we're only three months into the whole marriage part. So, um, but remember, uh, always respect your partner and keep them as your best friend. As long as there's mutual respect and love, then I think your relationship will always be healthy. And the coolest thing is that that day goes so fast. Anybody who's been married once or multiple times, that's a fast day. And that day for us seemed like it, it went a lot slower because of one thing. Every hour, we left the party together and we t just checked in for about 15 minutes and just talked. And we enjoyed that moment of being newly married. And then we came back to the party. And we did it the, whole, the entire night. And it, it made the night seem longer. It allowed us to really catch up and go through the emotions that are just the amazing experience of having it. everyone that ever touched your life in some way, shape, or form in one place, because you'll never have that again. And just really thoroughly enjoying seeing the people that are normal do the craziest thing on the dance floor, vice versa. It was awesome, just enjoy that. Uh, it's your day. Do whatever you want. Granted, we have our traditions, we have our, our family, things that we've done for history, so yes, if you can incorporate those, but at the end of the day, it's the bride's day. Well, oh, and the groom's. Um, but uh, yeah, just enjoy it and have fun. And it's the bright <laughs> Do whatever you want. Well, we appreciate both of you sitting down and talking with us so much. You're wonderful performers, of course, but also wonderful people. We really appreciate it. Danny Gibardo, we look forward to seeing you guys.